there everyone. Welcome to another rig building session with Master Carp. And the rig I'm going to demonstrate today is one that is actually, um, how can we say? This is a Daryl Peck Master Class rig. Um, he's caught numerous, but numerous 40s and 50s and even bigger using this particular rig. And it is so, so simple. And there's just a couple of um, things that I need to quickly explain to you before we carry on in actually constructing this. The important part is if I turn this rig on its back, the rig should or the, the hair should exit roughly between the point and the bar, but closer to the point and the barb. So this is a, a wide gape X size 4. And I've taken the 20 pound um, dark matter braid, the uncoated one, and I've done a 14 turn knotless knot. The important part is that the bait should not pass by the bend of the hook. And what Daryl says is he doesn't want uh, the bait to be able to wrap around and cause a really bad bait presentation. This is a wafter so this bait is literally going to go down and just sit on the bottom like that. Very very easy, extremely efficient and I'll quickly show you how to construct it. The first part of this rig is to just take a length of the dark matter braid and I'm taking about 35 centimeters. Now I create a loop on the one end and because this is, a, this is a fairly thick braid you don't need to make more than a single overhand knot. So literally just fold it over like that, pull it back and you've got your hair. Now I've just got to tighten it. There we go and cut off the tag end. Right, now I've got to take my diamond white wafter. This is a color that very few people actually use. And white is such an effective color, especially in very clear water and very murky water. And I don't see people use it that often. Uh, the peaches and cream work very well. Uh, there's my stopper. Put the stopper on. We actually, when you create this rig, you don't need to, I don't know if I've pulled it too far. When you create this rig, you can actually put the bait on and leave the bait on. It's actually that easy. There we go. I've got the stopper on. And now I take my white cape. X size 4, it's literally the last one from my packet, and I put the line from the bottom of the hook, and now creating or deciding on the length of the hair, you need to make sure that the bait basically just bounces there on the edge, so it mustn't go past that. Then it's just a matter of gripping the bait and then go and just whip it around and like Daryl says you can go past the point of the hook like that and then pass this end through. Now I just take my thumbnail and my forefinger nail and I press down and you'll notice that the hair exits roughly in line with the point. And now it's a matter of just finishing the rig off at the back. Now Daryl believes in a rig between 7 and 8 inches. So let's do a 7 inch one and I'll do a double overhand knot at the back. Let me go around, so I go once, 
and then I take my stick needle again, hook it, and pull it through like that. And you'll notice if you've got the the length of everything right, you've got very little line wastage. And with line being expensive, you don't want to waste too much. And there you have it. The most simple, very effective hair rig that everyone can use and everyone can tie. And there you have a basic air rig with super efficiency. Give it a try.